Hey everyone, Scooby-Doo here. Going to do a quick review on the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Luke Skywalker from A New Hope. Also going to show the comparison between him and the Sideshow exclusive Red 5 X-Wing pilot. So here we go. Uh, I'll just show you what both of them look like. This one's from Sideshow. This one's from Hot Toys. I think um, depending on the angle that you look at them, I think the Hot Toys one is quite a bit better actually than the Sideshow one. That's just my opinion. And if I were to choose between which one I'd rather have, definitely the Hot Toys one. Okay, so since I'm doing this all in one take and I might make a few mistakes, I apologize ahead of time. I'm just trying to film this during my lunch time, but I wanted to get this out just to show you. So the Hot Toys Luke comes with a bunch of stuff. It kind of reminds me of when Hot Toys did the DX line. It's not quite DX, but it kind of reminds me of it. Because one of my first figures I got was a DX figure when I first started collecting. And I was quite impressed. And then as I started getting other figures, I found out, well, there's a difference between DX and regular. And why don't they make them all that way? Well, this one's pretty close. Because you get actually two outfits with this guy. You get the, obviously the one that he's wearing. He also comes with a Tantooine outfit. I'm not going to take him out. But it's like a brown robe thing. And get an extra hat and some goggles. And you get this long rifle here. Uh, for this outfit you get the remote ball. That comes on a stand that actually goes on to the main stand. You get a light up lightsaber. A regular lightsaber. Uh, you get some other binoculars, a bunch of hands. You get this blast shield trainer helmet as well, which is awesome. So you can see where I'm kind of saying it's kind of like DX, not completely, but I mean, you get a lot of stuff. And considering they're about the exact same price, there's really a no brainer. Really is a no brainer with this one. This is uh, the only thing I'm disappointed about is that I don't actually have a shelf for him to go on on my wall. I'm going to put him up on a shelf, but he's not going to have his own shelf. So, But I am going to get him up because when I saw everything it came with and saw the way he looked, I was just like, i got to get him. So I will be doing another video once I actually get him up onto the wall. But for now, I just wanted to show him to you. Now, there was, I think, a Sideshow exclusive uh, Hot Toys figure, which I think he came with the um, Stormtrooper belt and the grappling hook thing that goes on there. I'm not for sure about the hook, but I think he did get the belt, which is kind of lame that they just didn't include it, which kind of pisses me off about exclusives. I understand having exclusive, being a, a, a gamer, you know, if you buy a game from uh, GameStop or something, sometimes they had exclusive where you got a poster that came with the game or you got an extra gun to use in the game. But eventually those guns came available to everybody at some point in time. And this, the belt's not going to come available. I'm going to have to purchase it off eBay or somewhere else to get it. And that's just bullshit. That's just wrong. If Sideshow wants to have an exclusive, which I do believe in exclusives, it should be maybe that they get a release at like a week earlier than any other vendor. Something like that. Or an extra poster or something that doesn't really directly have anything to do with the figure itself. So other than not getting the Stormtrooper belt as the exclusive, this is a great figure that I'm going to have pleasure putting up on my Star Wars wall once I get the room for him. So if you have any questions or comments about actually either one, feel free. Still got the plastic on them because I literally just got them today and took them out of the box. Alright, so that's it. I did want to do a side note because most of my videos do have a side note. I did pre-order the 1-6 scale Imperial Droid Probe or Probe Droid. That's right, I said I pre-ordered it. That's because Sideshow is re-releasing that. It's supposed to be out in March. Which I'm sure that's going to bum out a lot of people who sell them on eBay because those things have been going close words up to 500 bucks, Between five to $400 when you include the shipping. I actually tried to contact a few people from eBay and I'm saying, Hey, you want to lower your price a little bit? Because you know, uh, 
these are coming back out for two forty nine, and they're just like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> so, and I was like, no, I'm just not going to pay you a really high price. Now, the only difference between this probe that's coming out uh, in March and the one that came out back in 2014, it's not going to come with the additional snow cap that goes over the black base. So that's the only difference. Other than that, it's the exact same figure. And I'm going to get it for two forty nine. Yay for me. Great timing, too, because I just found out about the probe the other day, and I'm like, hey, I think I'd like to get that up on my wall, and then, sure enough, they're re-releasing it. Timing couldn't have been any better. So there we go. That's it. Sorry if there's any mistakes in this video. Sorry if it's shaky. Sorry if I don't got music. i just throwing this one up. Throwing it up. All right, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to leave your comments down below, and I shall talk to you guys later. You guys have a fantastic day.